Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be covering this week's dev stream instead of Chris. He's got a lot of finals at the moment, so I'm going to be filling in some of the busy work for the time being. So today's dev stream had three people in it. Sebi, Forsythia, and a new guy, Michael Ringer. Michael is a new dev to the dev streams, and he's one of the game's technical designers. For context, this is the same job as Sweet Tsunami or Alex. However, instead of gun balancing, he works more on the implementation of UI and gameplay mechanics. In shorter terms, he defines what is actually possible for the rest of the dev team to implement to the game. Now that the introduction is out of the way, let's get into the meat of things. Yet again, they confirmed mouse and keyboard support is not in the works at all and is not planned. This has been talked about in the past, but people still ask during every dev stream, so it still ends up getting answered every time. In the way of bug fixes, apparently 11.2 had a bug fix for collision of contact bombs that we were not aware of. I didn't know about this, but then again, I don't really use contact bombs that much, so maybe to those of you who do, this is something worth noting. They then talked a little bit about pistol in response to a question about increasing their damage. They said that they would discuss the balancing of them more in depth with the team, which doesn't mean a lot, but at least it's a step in the right direction to hopefully get some of them buffed. Which, if you don't know my opinions on 45 ACP specifically, this video from a few months ago lays that out pretty clearly. Other maybes that sounded like they would be more seriously considered is that they were thinking about adding what gun killed you and how many meters it killed you from in the death screen to somewhat clear up some post-mortem confusion in game game. Although obviously this is a low priority and not very important in their plans. To preface, sadly there was no information given about season 12 or anything in relation to it. But there were a few announcements from Forsythia talking about the booster apocalypse this weekend from the 13th to the 16th which will have all encounter boosters at 33% off. So hopefully that'll give some boosted loot and crate lobbies. And then there will be two sales this weekend at 20% off for both the Arsenal of Annihilation pack and the biggest crown pack known as the Dirty Rich Tycoon. Alright, so this dev stream was pretty lacking, honestly. I like both of the commentary. I mean, they're, t they're two interesting guys, but also we didn't get any concrete information on anything, really, other than just a few questions answered back and forth and some bug fixes that they talked about. So we're just kind of killing time until next week when we'll probably, hopefully, have some concrete information on Season 12. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.